tomorrow I'm leaving on a one-week trip into the jungle with my cat, which is a conservation group here in Malaysia who's uh, concerned about protecting uh, tiger populations. And we'll be going in helping the wildlife department in Tamangara, which is the main national park in Peninsula Malaysia, and has one of the oldest rainforests in the world. So I'm really looking forward to it because this will be a primary virgin rainforest, um, which will be a real treat. It's a rainy season, so going to get a bit wet, but that's fine. Got this little camera, see how long the batteries last, and hopefully bring back some uh, video of um, Tamangara for you. Okay, so we've arrived at Kuala Tahan, which is a sort of start point. It's a bit it's sort of touristy here, and as expected, it's raining. Okay, so we're going to Sagai Temple. Just leaving Kuala Tahan now. Our four hour trip. Okay, so we haven't even got there yet. Uh, river crossing jungle style. Okay, this is the border post. And over here we have Baha. Painting three lines on the artist, tree. Artist. Artists. We're now looking for the other next red marker and it started to rain. Not that it really matters because I'm so with sweat anyway, so quite refreshing really. Well, so far I've been wrong about trees, no big trees. We're in a rubber estate at the moment on the border. But I was right about the rain. We're getting a lot of rain. And everybody's getting wet. We're getting seriously wet here, being through a marsh. And the rain's just getting heavier and heavier, and we can't find the woods. Okay, we've gone in a bit further, and the rain's stopped, which is nice. Uh, and the trees are getting a bit bigger, which is also nice. We've been in a sort of marshy area to start with, so uh, yeah, the sun's come out. So it was Wednesday morning and um, it's still raining. And when it rains in the jungle, I mean, it rained pretty much all yesterday, everything's got a bit damp. And in the jungle, you have two sets of clothes your dry clothes and your wet clothes. And the wet clothes go back on the next day, dry clothes are for the evening. But, you know, it's still great to be here. This is an interesting parallel which belongs to Lauren, who's one of the wildlife people that we're helping out with the border maintenance. It's a very, very small parang. It's super sharp. And it's got a lovely design of a, an elephant on the handle here. And he's from Sarawak, as is the parang. And uh, I've yet to meet anybody from Sarawak who isn't good in the jungle, as he is. So, there you go. A mini parang from Sarawak. You can try and keep your feet dry in the jungle, but it's difficult to keep them dry for long. Looking for the post now that marks the border, which is fine, which is pretty amazing. So here we've uh, had to cut a tree down to try and get across this river. Didn't quite reach actually, but I think we're now going to use the branches to extend it a little bit. And no doubt it was going to get worse anyway. So it's Thursday morning, uh, it's raining again, but that's okay. We're now deep, deeper into the jungle, which is nice. Um, it makes it easier to walk because this, uh, the trails are quite clear. Um, quite interesting, I mean, the, a lot of the, the trees here are the same as the, the area where I live, which is more secondary jungle. But the most noticeable difference is that there isn't any bamboo. All the bamboo that we found is along the main river. But here in the jungle, we haven't seen any at all, so that's quite interesting. But a lot of the other trees are the same, so there are a lot of uh, familiar friends here in the, in the forest. 
Last night here was quite interesting because this whole, the ground here was lit up by some sort of fluorescent fungi that was growing on these dead leaves. It was like a sort of inverted starscape on the, on the floor. Very nice. Just when we got our socks dry, we start off this morning, we have to cross the river. So there it goes. These guys have just got amazing balance. I simply cannot do this. I would definitely fall in. But this is Lauren. Deciding not to. <laughs> okay, so this is one of the border stones. It's only about six inches off the ground. So I.e. have this in the background and paint three stripes on the tree repaint the post and then off to find the next one. I was feeling a bit homesick for some bamboo, but we have found some after all, half over the hill. There's steam coming off the shirt there. That's what this oh. sunshine does. Yeah. Oh, the trees are definitely getting bigger. The further we get in. The tour land tree, you know? Well, the sun didn't shine for very long. We've been up a hill, and now we're going down a hill. On the basis that everything that goes up must come down. I'm pretty ready for uh, a cup of tea or something. The problem is we're on a slope, and slopes aren't brilliant when it's raining. The trees start to come down, so... Uh... That's why we never end in a slow decor and for it. It's true, huh? Yeah. There's a forest and there's rain. You know? yeah. <laughs> we camped here quite late last night after kind of a wet day. Yeah. And it's always a little bit difficult when you've got like five hammocks to find an area where you've got trees in the right place. So I'll show you here that I'm actually uh, attached to a vine, uh, like a liana. And what I was saying in one of the earlier videos, that the armors come in all different shapes and sizes, and some of them are huge, and you can just tie your hammock to it. So today we're going to carry on uh, looking for the border, and it's not, you know, fantastically interesting. It's a bit like geocaching, I mean, you just go from one border post to the next, but there's always something interesting to see in the rainforest if, uh, if you look for it. So here's the Liana. Hammock strong too. So we're going up there. So this tree gives a bit of extra bounce to the hammock. Okay, this is Hafiz, team leader, Pahilitan. And this is what we've been doing, finding these posts in the jungle. I'd say very light geocaching. Not fantastically exciting, but then the jungle is always interesting. And there's an old friend in the jungle, Rotan Chin Chin. Nice little spikes, but uh, useless stuff. The law of gravity that says what goes up must come down in the jungle when you go down it usually means that a bit later you're gonna have to go up again. The streams are pretty easy going. It's sort of like roads through the jungle. There's really no point in trying to keep dry in the jungle even when it's not raining you're sweating. So I mean waterproofs forget it you just sweat as if you're in a sauna. So you just let everything get wet and then change into dry clothes in the evening. Every now and again you get like a clearing right here where trees come down and you might find a banana tree which are good sources of water. But generally you don't find banana trees deep in the jungle. Check out this tree here. That is a big tree. <coughs> I don't like wearing long sleeves in the jungle. It was a price to pay. Right on. Let's sort of cut you up a bit. So, lunch is biscuits in a field of wild ginger. Here you can see these yellow flowers there. So, last day's trekking, about 4 o'clock. It's raining, and as you can see, we're pretty much coming out of the jungle. All the trees are thinning down, which is a shame. I mean, they might be staying in for one last side of these guys wanted to get out. Well, it turns out we're going all the way out. 
This is a real shame, but never mind. And the rain's having one last uh, crack at us before we go. This is probably one of the last border posts. Well, let's uh, have this there, so you can know the GPS reader. We paid it in the post. So we got out of the jungle uh, at 8 o'clock. It was a bit of a crazy, crazy uh, way out. We, we ended up taking a boat in the middle of the night down the river, but here we are in civilization. So when we broke camp yesterday morning, I didn't expect to wake up uh, the next day out of the jungle and in a Malay camp on with the, the, uh, the these guys waking me up. But nevertheless, here we are. I mean, it was a very long day yesterday, and we were still tracking where we start, but um, it, it was quite fun. Um, it's nice to be. It's, it's nice to be here. Malay kampongs are some of the quietest, most peaceful places in the world. And, this looks like a very nice camper. So, out of the jungle. Okay, these are the guys from Pahilatan. Uh, we've got Lauren, uh, Apis, team leader, Baha and Ai. So these guys, um, you know, patrol the borders of Tanagara, make sure no one comes in, hunts the tigers, does anything illegal. So, they're doing a very good job. And, uh, been very kind to me, very hospitable, and I've had a super time. Well, since we've got here, I've been very wet, but I haven't actually had a swim, and I've been dying to have a swim in this river because it looks very inviting. So, that's what I'm going to do. Well, I wouldn't be anywhere else at the moment. It's just really nice. So, let's find out whether this camera's waterproof or not. Well, and the current's quite strong. So when uh, when we came, it took about four hours. But on the way back, we're going with the current. It only takes an hour. 